right guys, it's Ryan Mayfield here and I'm here to talk to you about my RM2 camera yeah. out here. <laughs> Hi, this is Ryan Mayfield. This is the new RM2 camber gauge. It can be used for any 10 scale or 8 scale vehicle, but it's more specifically de designed for a truggy with such big tires. But like I said, you can use it on 10 scale car, 8 scale car, very easy to adjust. Made out of really nice aluminum, nice anodizing. So I suggest going and grabbing one of these things. Like I said, you can use it for anything. So go through how to use the new RM2 camber gauge. Pretty easy. Loosen up the adjustable knob here, and you can slide it from negative 10, positive 10. And so typically I'll run my camber between negative one, negative two. So choose the line where you want it, lock down the nut. And then because of the increased height, you can get to the top of the tire really easily. Now on this car it does clear the wheel nut, but you gotta watch out for that as well. Um, but then it also will work for the big truck to get to the top of the tire as well. This table's not very level, but you can see it reaches to the top pretty close. So, overall great tool. Uh, makes setting your camber easy and quick, painless, and uh, compact design will still fit in most toolboxes. So we're gonna go through here and uh, show you the proper way of setting camber. And uh, this can be used on any vehicle. So, the first thing you wanna make sure it's a pretty flat surface, and you wanna have the car as it's gonna hit the track uh, for like a nitro car, you want to run a little bit of fuel in there. At, you know, like when you set right height, typically you set your right height with half a tank of fuel. So go through all those procedures first, get the car on a level surface, and then you can start setting your camber. So what you're looking for is the bottom of the camber gauge down here touching the tire and the top of the camber gauge touching the top of the tire. So this is set to negative two, and you can see when you put a little pressure on this, uh, it'll touch both sides of the tire, top and bottom. So your camber is pretty much set. So you can also take into effect sometimes a tire, the wheel might be a little out of balance. So then you can check it again in multiple locations and kind of uh, make sure you're golden anywhere you're sitting on the track. So that's a uh, procedure checking your camber. And with this new tool, it makes it easy, quick, and simple.